An elegant dog which gives off a robust, intelligent, and confident personality, Belgian Malinois is an ultimate worker known for its versatility. Not only are they hard-working dogs, but Belgian Malinois are also sweet and loving who are the happiest when they get to spend time with their humans. But because they are energetic, intelligent, and strong, this breed is, indeed, not for everyone. So for this video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Belgian Malinois. A medium-sized dog with a square and well-proportioned build, Belgian Malinois are often confused with German Shepherd dogs. While they have similarities in looks, Belgian Malinois are actually smaller than the latter. Standing between 22 to 26 inches, or 55.8 to 66 centimeters, which makes them a better choice if you live in a home with limited space. Built for work, this breed's hallmark is the confident carriage of its head, as well as its dark Belgian chocolate eyes that shows intelligence. As we go through this video, we'll get to know more if this breed is not suitable to your home. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover! If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track, so make sure to subscribe. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Belgian Malinois. So, let's get started right away. Number 1. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you're looking for an average household pet. If you're a novice owner who works for long hours, this breed is not probably the best for you. Belgian Malinois have unique requirements, which means that their owners need to adapt to their lifestyle, and not the other way around. As mentioned, Belgian Malinois thrive in the presence of their humans. Therefore, they need to spend plenty of time with you, whether it's playing, training, or simply relaxing on the couch. These dogs also do not do well when they are left alone for long periods of time. At the same time, they should not live outside or at the kennel. Otherwise, they can be anxious and frustrated, which can lead to development of destructive behaviors such as chewing, excessive barking, digging, and scratching of furniture. Number 2. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you're looking for a dog that is completely welcoming of strangers. One thing that you need to accept about these dogs is that they are born with protective instincts. However, it does not mean that they will be aggressive. It just means that they will always be ready to protect their owner's person and property at all costs. Because of this, Belgian Malinois can be aloof and suspicious around new people, but not aggressive. Therefore, if you're looking for a very friendly dog that will greet just about anyone, then this breed is not for you. Number 3. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you cannot socialize them. If the previous key point seems to be a problem for you, don't worry. Although you cannot completely eliminate their instinct to protect, you can train your Belgian Malinois to be more welcoming of strangers through proper training and early socialization. While your dog is still young, Expose them to various people, sights, sounds, animals, and environment so that he remains calm and intelligent about his surroundings once he is fully matured. You can also enroll your dog to puppy training classes so that he can meet other people and animals. Number 4. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you cannot provide him with plenty of mentally stimulating activities. We previously mentioned that Belgian Malinois are intelligent and versatile dogs who can excel at anything they put their mind to. And since they are bred to work, you should be able to give him a job or something that will keep his mind busy, otherwise he may develop unwanted behaviors. If you cannot give him a job, you can train him for various canine sports such as agility, obedience, tracking, herding, and schutz hunt competitions. At home, it is also essential that they have plenty of toys to play with, such as chew toys and puzzle games to keep them entertained. Without toys, they may see your shoes, clothes, and furniture as chew toys. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about Belgian Malinois so far? Do you think they fit your home? 
Let us know your thoughts later on because, for now, we have a few more things to talk about these athletic dogs. So let's continue. Number 5. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you spend most of your time indoors. If your idea of a relaxing weekend is watching Netflix all day, then this breed is definitely not for you. Belgian Malinois are active, athletic, and energetic dogs that need a great deal of physical exercise. If you keep them at home all day, boredom will set in and they will resort to destructive behaviors as a way to release their energies. This breed thrives in an owner who likes to stay fit through various outdoor activities. Whether it is running, jogging, biking, or hiking, this breed is more than happy to join you. Just make sure that they always have access to fresh, clean water and shade so that they don't overheat. Aside from extreme physical activities, these dogs are also happy to serve as search and rescue dogs, police dogs, and military dogs. On average, Belgian Malinois will need at least an hour of activity every day. If you have a securely fenced yard, you can also give them access to it so that they can run, play, and just burn off their excess energies. Number 6. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you cannot train them well. If you have reached this part of the video, you probably have an idea now that Belgian Malinois is not the best choice for first-time and novice pet parents. Since this breed is intelligent, energetic, and naturally protective, they need an experienced owner who can provide them with strict, consistent, and firm training. However, it does not necessarily mean that you should use harsh punishments such as yelling and physical force when training your dog. Instead, you should be consistent with your words so that your dog doesn't get confused with your commands. It is also vital to use positive reinforcement techniques such as giving your dog treats, praises, and plenty of playtime when your dog does something that pleases you. Just remember to reward your dog right after the action is done so that they will be more likely to repeat the behavior. Number 7. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you cannot give them a daily routine. Belgian Malinois love it when you set a schedule for them. For example, setting a specific time when they go outside for their daily exercise or when it is time to eat. This way, they don't get anxious as to what's going to happen in the next few hours, thus helping them to stay calm inside the house. Moreover, setting a schedule also helps you to be consistent in providing your dog with their daily needs. And it also enables you to become more productive as you have goals that you need to meet every day. Number 8. Do not get a Belgian Malinois if you cannot dedicate time for grooming. Despite having a short, straight coat, Belgian Malinois do shed year-round, and they also shed more heavily twice a year. Therefore, this breed needs regular grooming to remove dead hair as well as to evenly distribute their natural skin oils that keep their hair sleek and tidy. Furthermore, brushing them on a regular basis will help reduce the amount of hair that sticks onto your clothes, carpet, sofa, and furniture. After every bath, which should only be done when they get really stinky, make sure that they are completely dry so as to avoid bacteria buildup which can lead to infections. So long as they are properly trained, socialized, and their needs are met, Belgian Malinois will make excellent family companions who are gentle and affectionate with children, as well as energetic companions who can be trained for various purposes. Once again, because they require plenty of attention and mental and physical stimulation, this breed is not suited for busy people who spend most of their time at work. However, if you can dedicate enough time to spend with them, then adding this breed to your family is surely worth it. And there you have it, the 8 reasons why you should not get a Belgian Malinois. After watching this video, do you think you have what it takes to properly raise a Belgian Malinois? Or do you think that this is not the best option for you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoy today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching 
and I hope to see you in the next video.